This podcast is brought to you by LTASex.com. Live, laugh, love, LTA Sex. Welcome to This Is Crazy, the LTA Sex podcast exploring what it's like to live with mental illness. I'm your host, Jerome Stewart Nichols, chronic anxiety, depression sufferer, and creator of LTASex.com. This Is Crazy is a show that features snapshots in the life of people living with various mental illnesses. We're definitely not experts and definitely not offering that sort of advice, but we are living with this and can offer a bit of commiseration on what it's like to live with a mind that defaults to self-destructive instead of neutral. To keep up with the show, make sure to visit ltasex.com slash thisiscrazy. There you'll find links to all the various ways you can keep up with the show. You know, This Is Crazy is kind of like a box of chocolates. You never really know what you might get. But the one thing I do know for sure is that this is crazy and the show is starting now. Today's episode features LTASex.com creator and This Is Crazy host, Jerome Stewart Nichols. If you'd like to support the show, please consider doing that on Patreon.com. Uh, the URL to do that is Patreon.com slash Keep it sexy. K E E P I T S E X Y. So I'm having uh, an anxiety attack. I've been having an anxiety attack for like four hours now. <laughs> um I've been having this anxiety attack for like four hours now. This is the first time um that I'm sort of like acknowledging out loud that I'm having an anxiety attack. Uh that la that's, you know, one of these long, low level extended ones. I've had plenty of anxiety attacks before in my life. Um, a lot of them are, uh, uh, it's like, so a lot of them have been, uh, I'm trying to find the words for this. They've been acute, I guess is like the word, like they're sharp, like they just, they pop up and then they're there. Uh, the one like I'm having today those rather let me finish that uh those normally have a reason uh something's happened uh there's been some sort of like stressor or something that is uh set those off something that triggered that now some days i just i just you know <clears throat> i just have an anxiety attack and it'll happen for hours. It'll be uh, just constant heart racing. And I'll feel panicky and sweaty sometimes. Um, I won't be see and this is the problem I'm trying to talk about this I'm trying to talk about this but I can't because I can't fucking focus because it's I can't focus on anything. (sighs) 
I keep jumping back and forth. A lot of times I'll end up, uh, let me sort of anxiety attacks, I'll end up just like under the blankets on Tumblr for hours, just sort of like, or on the computer for hours, just jumping back and forth between windows, just like, not convinced that I'm missing something, but like, trying to like, move on. <sighs> I'm <sighs> So I guess let me just explain what happened today. Right now or earlier today I was sitting at my computer editing uh, an episode of my podcast behind closed doors and as I'm talking my heart rate is going up heart rate is going up so you may hear me um you may hear me like have to pause and like breathe periodically I'm editing it and putting it together so it can go up online and all of a sudden my heart starts racing and I don't know why I think there might have been like some lingering anxiety about like the fact that I haven't really been doing a lot of work on LTSX. The only thing I'm doing right now on LTSX is behind closed doors. Um, I was recording videos and things, but I'm kind of just living my life. It's been a couple weeks like that. I'm still putting up uh, behind closed doors episodes every week because, you know, I do have people who support me and I would like to give them something cool to listen to. But I've got a whole back catalog and videos and all these podcasts and everything that I've created that people can enjoy. So I can take a break for a minute. But, you know, I sat down to do it and I'm doing it. I'm in the middle of doing that. I'm just sort of on my computer working and, you know, while that's exporting and... You know, just getting ready with the morning. And then, you know, like I said, my heart starts racing. And I don't know why. And it's scary because this has happened before. And it was only really... um, It used to be that I wasn't sure that my heart was racing. I was feeling panicky, but my body wasn't, like, going out of its fucking mind. Like, my heart wasn't beating out of my chest. So I didn't feel like there was something wrong. I was never quite sure if there was something wrong, but as it's going on, I'm like, yeah, no, 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 this is wrong. Something's wrong here. And right now I am, or, you know, in, in that moment, I'm I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. And so I can, I'm in, in that moment and, you know, in the moments after I'm thinking to myself and I'm, I'm realizing that, oh my God, I'm so anxious right now. I'm, oh, oh God, okay. And I'm realizing that, Holy shit, I'm scared. Why are you scared? I don't know why I'm scared. I don't know why my heart's racing so bad. Like, and obviously that's 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 what's doing it. And So I spend the rest of the morning not doing anything. I spend it hanging out with uh, my partner, Bubby. 
because, you know, it's like, if I'm not going to be able to (laughs) actually, like, exist or do anything of worth, then I might as well just, like, chill and enjoy my life. If I'm going to be having a panic attack. If today is going to be a panic day, then it's going to be a panic day. And there's nothing I can really do about it. And there's no point in stressing myself out trying to figure out how to get some work done when I know that I absolutely can't. And really, I don't want to go to work today, but I also know that I probably am not going to do well by myself at home unless I go to sleep. And if I go to sleep, then I'll throw my sleep cycle off, and also I'll miss out on the money I could have made today at work. I'm supposed to be leaving in 21 minutes. I'm trying to breathe because my breathing can sometimes get out of control. And normally, I normally can't get back calm. That's something I haven't been able to figure out how to do yet. I just started a new medication, um, Zoloft. Uh that is supposed to that I'm adding on to what I'm already taking which is Wellbutrin um because my depression is sort of like taking taking a dive and I'm you know every other day I'm fucking exhausted or irritable or cranky or you know I'm having this low level anxiety attack bullshit this shit happens it doesn't really happen in the summer it happens in the winter uh and I think it might be unrelated to unrelated to um, like I'm not extra depressed so that's causing me anxiety I think I'm extra depressed which is causing me not to be productive which is causing me anxiety I think there's like an extra step there But I don't really know. Um, I'm going to have to do some research, that's for sure. And figure out what the fuck is going on. And maybe, you know, I probably won't be able to figure out what the fuck is going on. But I probably will be able to figure out... Um, Maybe what's triggering it. I'm really hoping that the Zoloft will help. Because man oh man am I tired of. You know being fine for an hour of the day. And then just like spending the next 12 hours. (laughs) With an anxiety attack that just won't fucking stop. On the bright side though. I am about to publish episode 37 of Behind Closed Doors. So, uh, I've gotten that part done at least. I have 17 minutes till I need to be leaving the house to go to work. I don't know why talking about this is causing me so much anxiety. I think I'm afraid of the truth of what's going on. Mm. 
which actually scares me a lot because if there's some truth that I'm going on that I'm afraid of then it's probably big truth <laughs> um, it's But the anxiety has me so scared right now that I am sort of like afraid to do anything. Like I'll be able to get up and go to work, but exploring inside myself is just really scary right now. So maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I do need to go to work and I do need to do something that'll get my mind off of this fucking anxiety because right now it's a lot. I'll be so glad when this shit is over. I'll be so glad when this shit is over. (sighs) I feel crazy. I feel like a crazy person existing in this body in this moment because I it is just so much and the more I talk about it the worse it feels and that is so foreign to me because normally when I talk about something getting it out of my body like getting it out of my body makes it easier and right now it is the exact opposite talking about it experience it, like it's making me experience it more and I, I I don't know what the fuck that's about I want to cry. I'm having so many emotions right now. Wow, I really am having... Okay, I think dealing with this thing is like... Not dealing with it is keeping it down. And dealing with it is bringing it up. And it's making it a little bit worse. But I'm feeling like overdramatic. Because I'm just like, oh my god, I'm dying. And I know nothing's wrong. But this is just the way I'm feeling right now. So I'm going to let it... I'm gonna let it be. I'm gonna let it be. I'm gonna let it do what it does. Um, cause there's nothing I can really do about it. But I really want to, um, I really want it to stop. Uh, I'm gonna get dressed for work now. Um, and, and, and click, uh, publish on this, uh, podcast. Um, Save emotional politics and polyamory. And I'm gonna see what these people have to say on Facebook. Uh, Because I put up on Facebook that I've been having a low level anxiety attack for like. I can do this. I can do this. I just have to calmly get up and pack my bag. 
put on my clothes, which are right there. All the stuff is there. Everything will be fine. I hope.